Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. So, again, morning video review for Bitcoin. And guess what? We are coming up against that trend line. This trend line goes all the way back to that 20,000 high we made back in December. So, this proves my case again that the price the retracement that we had over the weekend it was manipulated it was definitely manipulated because the, we were setting up this action that we are seeing today we should have have we should have had that action over the weekend because we are set up really well technically on Friday for for us to actually hit that, that trend line on over the weekend this resistance trend line the red one that's coming all the way from the December time frame and uh, as I have said that in my last few videos that it looked very manipulated it looked the retracement that happened over the uh, weekend was very manipulated um, by maybe a group of traders or maybe by a couple of individuals who were um, trying to manipulate the market especially over the weekend when there is low volume and then perhaps buying it creating a like a mini panic that hey there's there isn't we are not going toward that 11,000 or 12,000 mark and then creating that mini panic and then selling it later on now those kind of things are hard to do during the weekdays because there is a lot of volume there is like you know it's a, it's a globally traded um, currency so there's obviously on the weekdays there's a lot of volume but on the weekend especially most of the markets are closed on weekend and it's it's hard to manipulate those uh, I mean it's easy to manipulate those prices over the weekend uh, if you have a decent size account and that's exactly it really proves the, uh, my theory that this price action was manipulated over the over the weekend um, and you know that's the thing about you know cryptocurrency um, there are no regulations so it's not like you know someone is going to get into trouble um, you th that's the reason you will have so much pump and dump groups there there are I, ha I received this question um, by one of the viewer um, yesterday that is your like he wanted to sign up for the email subscription service and um, he was asking if, if is that a pump or dump uh, kind of group and I explained to him that um, I come from a very um, my background is in very like I come from a professional background and I it really goes against my ethics to do something like that so I I really 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 am against those pump and dump type of like you know groups people who try to do that I see the youtubers who have been doing it it is just it's just sad because you know it's, it's kind of those kind of things will never last and those kind of money will never do you any good even if you make money off those things you know karma karma will come and get you seriously those money will never uh, give you a good life that you think it, it it will give you so like you know try to make money where like you know try to make money like the honest way and you know that money will come very like it will come maybe it will take a little bit longer to come to you but trust me that will that money will go long way and it will last you much longer than the money that you get through like you know um by this um cheating someone or by like scamming someone and you will sleep much better you will like you know you the main thing is you'll have a better life and you'll sleep much better so there are plenty of people who have come before us who have done those things and they got you know they got they have seen the highs but now they are they have seen the lows as well they got burned so uh, don't get into those you know it looks very that pump and dump thing it sounds very good you know short-term money you make something and then um, you know you're trying to screw someone uh, it just doesn't last those things you know it is not a long-term thing those things will never last you and that money will never do you any good that's the thing even if you make that money that will it will never do you any good I have seen plenty of cases like in stock market people do that 
with penny stocks you know and just like you know you have the speculative coins here like and stock market people um, still do it but back in like 90s back in like you know last decade people used to do that with penny stock where they used to pump up all that penny stocks and then dump it the next day um, and now you have social media so back then they didn't have social media so back then they used to do it on the charting groups on like you know uh, things like that but now you have social media like thanks to YouTube I see a lot of um, that YouTube are pumping up some of the coins and like you know that getting dumped uh, in couple of a couple of days um, it's so stay I mean I know it, it's very tempting when someone when someone sees that Oh, you made two hundred thousand three. I mean, uh, uh, two hundred percent, three hundred percent gains within a couple of days in forty-eight hours. It it obviously is, is human psychology. It's, it looks very good. It's it's very tempting. Everyone wants to make money. And that's, uh, I mean, it, but like the thing, the the one thing that behind that is like you know you that kind of thing. You know, it's those kind of money. At least in my opinion, I have what I have seen. It it never like you know will do you any good. It will even if you make it, it will not like you know stay with you for long enough. Or it will like just it, it just uh, nature has its way. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, universe has a plan for everything. So keep that in mind. All right. Uh, so I just wanted to bring that up against like you know because someone asked me about those pump and dump, um, and I'm 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 very much very much against those things i have a i have strong ethics i come from i have a, a professional background so i don't i am very much against that even though even though in this market we don't have um we don't have any regulations there is no law that prevents um pump and dump groups uh, like or, or like having like any any kind of penalties against them um, there are no regulations so it's everything is like you know and this manipulation of the price action is all legit but again if you if you're morally responsible then you should like you know you need to be more like especially if you're a bigger YouTube channels if you're listening to these things you have more responsibility being a bigger channel being like you know you have more audience and you have to be more responsible on like you know you have to be truthful to your viewers not just by saying something oh this is great 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 it doesn't work like that you have you have the responsibility as a bigger channel as a bigger crowd follows you so um you have to you have to like you know make sure you go provide a good value to your viewers and your subscribers um so that being said a BTC is coming up against this resistance line. It will. Um, we need to pierce it. It's looking quite strong right now. Um, <clears throat> this level, right? It's mo it's uh, going past beyond that 50-day uh, moving average. If we close over this 50-day on the daily, this I'm looking at the daily time frame right now. Data is coming from Coinbase Exchange. If we can close it over this, if we can close beyond uh, right here. All right, um, then it will be that it will be very, um, very much make the case toward that 11,000, um, 11,200 levels and then into that resistance zone um, that we have mentioned that before. Um, but we need to we need to finish the day over the 50 day moving average. That's that's the one thing that you want to look for today, that if you finish the day over that uh, 10,000 600 or 10,500 mark okay let's look at the smaller time frame all right so this is the four hour time frame uh, as i said we are trying to pierce that line we're trying to pierce that um, trend line right now bulls have everything in in their favor right now and this again this should have happened over the weekend um Everything is in their favor right now to run, make that run toward 11,000, um, 12,000 mark. All right. So let's see if we can get a nice follow through on this. Um, it's looking, it's looking nice. So it's, it's like uh, only thing we need to watch out for is like volume needs to start picking up. It's coming out. Is volume is coming, but uh, this is this is uh, this is a decent volume that's coming up. But we need uh, continuation of that volume. We need to continue this. 
increasing that volume needs to continue so we can um who are like you know the bears who are sitting like probably trying to hope for a reversal and trying to buy it lower they can get like you know they can change their mind and um so they want to make we want to make sure that those things remain um out of the question so let me just change i'm just changing the lines now because the previous line i had it blue so and i have said it before anything that is blues those are supports anything that is red those are resistance all right the pink line those are the intermediate um this is a falling wedge kind of pattern we had we broke out of it now we are trying to pierce that on uh, the big trend line all right so previous support becomes resistance right so now we um so now uh, you know the previous resistance that was we are we pierced that overnight now that that is becoming that will become support okay um all right so that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to have this morning update let's look at something let's look at litecoin and uh <laughs> the video i made yesterday i i was keep on calling that 150 160 on litecoin so I, my apologies on that i i see i mean i'm watching so many charts a day it's just sometime it just like comes out and i I'm, I, I don't review this videos and I, I think i need to get into habit of like before i upload this video i need to maybe get into those habits of reviewing and i definitely not I'm not reading from the script, so um, I'm saying saying it as I see it. So a lot of time, you know, um, please be mindful of those things <laughs> um, on those um, comments. And uh, yeah, so right now it's at 2:19. Um, as long we say uh, stay over that 2:09, 2:08 uh, support level, uh, I still like Litecoin. Um, so we need to stay over those support levels on litecoin okay uh, so just to recap bitcoin it's looking strong right now it's peer uh, it's going through that um it's going through that resistance um trend line that we had all the way from the twenty thousand mark we need to stay over it we need to finish the day above that trend line on the daily so if i go back to the daily we need to make sure that we close the that candlestick over that trend line if we do that that will be really bullish okay so we need to make sure uh, we close this candlestick over that trend line and um, i mean we definitely want to close over the 50 day uh, moving average but we if we can close over the trend line that will be very bullish as well all right all right so that's that's pretty much it guys let me know what you think let me know your comments uh, and we will go from there thank you